Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve this problem, and this problem is based on elasticity of demand. Okay. So here we will find a lot of things, and we will understand a lot of concept of the economics. Okay. So let me start. So here uh, they have provided the information of the demand and supply at the different prices. Okay. So at at sixty dollar, demand is twenty two and uh, twenty two uh, million, and supply is fourteen million. Right. So these are the uh, these are the price column and this is the demand column and this is supply column right now they ask us that um, calculate the price elasticity of demand at or when the price is 80 or and when the price is 100 right so we have to find uh, price elasticity at, at two different prices right so and the second question they ask about the price elasticity of supply and third question is uh, c part uh, what are the what are the equilibrium price and quantity so we have to also find the equilibrium price and quantity and next question is about suppose that the government set the price ceiling okay so here are the uh, four concept okay in this problem from this problem we will under try to understand four concept of microeconomics okay so let me start with the first part part a okay where we will talk about the price elasticity of demand right okay so what is price elasticity of demand so this is the formula i'm gonna write it i'm gonna donate price elasticity of demand by ep okay and uh, this is um change in quantity demanded okay change in quantity demanded due to change in price this is the formula for the you know price elasticity of demand so actually what happened in real market if uh, there is change in price so due to that we know that uh, the quantity will also change like here let me explain from this example only so price was 60 so demand was 22 as the price is increased if you see the from the 60 dollar to 80 dollar so price increases so the what happened with the demand demand falls right from 20 uh, uh, 2 million to 20 million right so from this uh, you can see there is a uh, inverse relationship between the price and demand as the price increase of course people demand less that product okay so this is the relationship based on that uh, we are going to find uh, this price elasticity of demand so what is the actually effect of change in price on the quantity demand okay so uh, first we have to find at price 80 right so at price or dollar 80 we will see uh, what is the change in quantity or or so if you see from uh, 80 to 100 what is the change in actually price so first let me write the change in price so change in price is 20 right because price increases from 80 to 20 so this is plus 20 now and what is the quantity uh, at a uh, price 80 is let me write that quantity is 20 million now what is the change in quantity because we need also the change in quantity to put in this formula so what is change in quantity so here is quantity demand change okay so if you see uh, demand is uh, demand fall from 20 million uh, to 80 so that is minus two right so demand is fall right uh, by two units okay so here are the value we have to just put in this formula and we will get the what is the price elasticity of demand okay so ep equals to uh, change in quantity is minus two right so let me just write minus two uh, we have to uh, put the value of q so what is the quantity at uh, price 80 that is 20 now change in price change in price is 20 okay and p is 80 because we have to find the uh, price elasticity demand at the price 80 now let me solve it so minus 2 80 divided by 20 20 if you solve it you will get minus 4 by 10 so elasticity of demand at uh, uh, 80 that is 0.4 minus 0.4 why this negative sign show us there is a negative relationship between uh, price and quantity right so similarly you can find for this uh, when the price is 100 so what you can do when the price is 100 so if you see what is the change in the price and what is the quantity at that time and you can find the you can put you can find the uh, at the price you know that here you will put 100 quantity is 18 and then the change in price again is 20 but change in quantity is minus 2 so you have to solve it and you, you will find that what is the price elasticity when the price is 100 right that's the same process will be followed in this part also now let me solve the part b here okay so in the part b uh, i'm writing here okay so in the part b uh, what is provided here uh, we have to price uh, here we have to find uh, price elasticity of supply so let me write the formula for the price elasticity of supply okay so this would be the same formula 
but here in the supply not the demand like uh, in the price elasticity of demand here we said that the change in demand due to change in price okay here what we can say the change in quantity supplied okay due to change in price right so here also we are writing the same thing because of change in price we are saying because change of price what is the change in quantity supply right so at the price at t we are going to find that what is the price elasticity of supply so he, here it is price at t so supply is 16 right so at p equals to 80 dollar supply of quantity is 16. now change in price again price actually change by 20 right so what is the change in quantity so if you know that price increase so producer also wants to increase their supply so supply is increased by uh, two units right from 16 to 18 so change in supply is two unit right so we have to just put the uh, whole value here okay so to find the supply or price elasticity of supply is change in uh, supply what is the change in supply two unit and quantity is 16 right divide with change in price is 20 and at a price of 80 right now solve it to multiply 80 divide by 16 multiply 20 so if you cut it here this would be 10 or here 2 okay so 1 by 2 that means 0 0.5 right so this would be 0 0.5 right so this is our price elasticity of supply now this is so remember here you will always find the price elasticity supply would be positive and demand would be negative right now same you can find for the 100 now what what is the equilibrium price or quantity so for the equilibrium we know that at the equilibrium quantity demand should be equal to quantity supply okay so here if we see uh, at what price um, quantity supply is equal to quantity uh, demand so if you see here demand is 22 and supply is 14 so they are not equal now here if you see demand is uh, 20 and supply is 16 again here is also gap of 4 now if you see here demand is 18 and supply is also 18 which means that here the supply or you can say this is the demand and this is the supply so demand is equal to supply which means that at a price 100 market would you know uh, market uh, occur at the equilibrium right so at actually what would be you know equilibrium price so equilibrium price would be or you can i'm writing that uh, pe okay 100 and equilibrium uh, quantity or okay equilibrium quantity would be 18 okay so this is our equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity okay right now next question is about price selling okay so i'm just going to explain here how you can uh, price selling is uh, you know uh, by you know when government set the price selling so a market player cannot increase the price above that okay so price selling is means that maximum price any you know producer can charge you know that would be the price selling okay so price selling is 80 which means that you cannot charge more than 80 dollar okay so so here price selling is 80 so if you see at the at the price of 80 demand is 20 right this is demand and this is the supply right so if you see demand is more than supply because supply is only 16 million and demand is 20 million right so at a price 80 okay as a price selling of 80 there is shortage because uh, uh, demand is 20 which is more than the supply so whenever we have the whenever we have i'm writing here okay at price 80 okay quantity demand is more than quantity supply and this leads to shortage in the market okay and if you want to find uh, how million you know shortage in the market so quantity demand is 20 quantity supply is 16 so you will got 4 million is a shortage in the market due to you know this uh, price selling okay so i hope this video you know explain you this four concept and you can solve this kind of the problem if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment i will try to answer it okay